On today's video, I thought I'd go over a few snap weight hacks that might help you guys catch a few more fish. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, for those of you uh, that have never used snap weights, or maybe not sure what a snap weight is, it's just a sinker system, you know, it's just a sinker that has a clip on it. And this clip allows you to attach it and detach it to your fishing line real easy. Um, they're, they're used for trolling, you know, you wouldn't want to clip this onto your line and then try to cast it out. They're used for trolling. And, you know, some of you guys might be thinking like, well, who cares if you can, uh, you know, clip this uh, sinker on and off your line real easy. Um, you know, what do I care? Why, why wouldn't I just uh, use a regular standard pinch on uh, split shot or, or maybe a tie on keel sinker? What's the difference, right? Well, the difference is, you know, oftentimes these snap weights are used when you're adding quite a bit of weight. Uh, you know, if you're just adding, you know, if you're just putting some kind of split shot on your lure to get it down a little deeper and you're only adding a, a quarter, three eighths, half ounce of weight, it, it's probably not a big deal. But like this one, this is a three ounce weight. When you start adding two, three, maybe even four ounces of weight to your spinners, uh, to your stick baits, uh, that's a pretty good hunk of lead going through the water column. And, and I think sometimes if that hunk of lead is only, you know, maybe three, four, five feet away from your lure, I think that can kind of spook fish away. You know, because you are, with the standard sinkers, you are limited, you know, to, to basically the length of your pole as to how far away you can put that from your lure, right? Because, you know, you're, you reel it in and the sinker comes up to your tip of your pole, that's as far as you can reel it in. So your lure really can only be, you know, three, four, five, six feet behind it, and that's about it. But with these snap weights, you can, you can be trolling along, you can let that lure out 20, 30, 40 feet, then attach the snap weight, then let that go, you know, let it go out and, and get that lure to the desired depth that you want. And then when you reel it back in, as the snap weight comes up out of the water, you just unhook it and then reel your lure or fish, hopefully, in the rest of the way. So that's the big advantage uh, with these snap weights is you can get this heavy amount of weight, you know, pretty far away from your spinner or your stick bait. And, you know, some of the other advantages to using these snap weights, um, if I'm out trolling along and I decide that this weight is a little bit too much, I just reel it in, unclip it, grab a smaller weight and clip it back on. Or, or obviously if I want to go heavier, whatever, it's real easy to, uh, to change up the weights on your line as opposed to untying a keel sinker, you know, and tying another different size keel sinker back on. So, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a couple advantages to using these snap weights. Most fishermen uh, use these snap weights in, in fairly open water, right? If you can imagine, um, you let the lure out, storm thunder stick, right? It's a good lure. You let the lure out 20, 30, 40 feet, you know, whatever, whatever you uh, feel is necessary. And now you got the line here and you take your snap weight and you pinch it on your line and then you deploy this. And of course, depending on how much line you let out, uh, how fast you're going, all that sort of thing, uh, it'll, it'll bring your lure to a desired depth. And, and that's all well and good. But if you can imagine you're going along, you're trolling with this and maybe you're bumping bottom a little bit. Uh, or maybe you're running into some brush or some rocks or you know some kind of snags and and this uh, This snap weight can pop off and you can lose it and of course that's no good You don't want to lose these. these they don't give these things away, right? So this is an offshore tackle brand uh, You know this this release clip is offshore tackle brand and, and it's actually uh, the same release clips that are on these offshore planer boards and and I make this modification to these particular style of clips to where them popping off like that like never happens. And uh, you know, I did do a video about this modification uh, with the planer boards. Um, if you go to my channel, I think it's called uh, Offshore Planer Board uh, 
tips or offshore planer board hack or something like that and and you can you can watch that video too if you're kind of interested in it more on the planer board side but uh, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you that same hack again or that same modification again uh, it really works good and then you don't have to uh, lose these clips or these snap weights the modification I'm making to these release clips has to do with these guide pins as you can see they have these guide pins that are almost like shark teeth and not that they're sharp but yet they kind of protrude up from one side and into kind of a hole that's matched for the other side and what I do and, and there's two there's one on each side what I've been doing is I've been cutting down one or both of them to about half their length as you can see now there's a gap opening there and then what you do with your line is you just take the line and you run it behind that sawed off guide pin across the pad and then let the uh, release clip pinch down and then it, it just won't come off you know until you squeeze it and it comes right off so like I say this is the original length this is how they come when you buy them but then I took this one side and I cut it down to about half and that enables me to get the line behind it and and of course all I'm doing to cut that down to about half I'm just taking a little pair of clippers reaching in there pinching it off and there now you can see like that one's cut down and now both sides are cut down so this one will work either way now yeah, so if you can imagine, I take this uh, snap weight and I run this line in and behind that guide pin, then across the pad, you know, and then drop this down, and it just won't come off now. You know, remember, it's, it's behind that guide pin, and it won't come off until you pinch it. So th that's really worked well for me. I, I really recommend going with these uh, offshore tackle brand release clips. And, and doing that little modification to them. It really works great. You know, another uh, snap weight hack or a, a snap weight trick that I like to use sometimes is adding a dropper line between the release clip and the sinker. So, you know, now, now it's a three-way rig, right? Now it's just like, you're, uh, just like you tied on a three-way swivel, except for, and it's the same thing as with the sinkers, except for you can attach this anywhere on the line you want. You can get it pretty far away from your lure if you want. You know, again, you can let out 20, 30, 40 feet. Now attach this. And, and again, now you have the advantages of the three-way rig, though. If you're going along and this comes in contact with the bottom, it might kind of lift the whole setup up, you know. It might kind of lift your lure up, keep it off the bottom. Whereas, you know, if you were just to attach the regular snap weight just directly to your line with no dropper, now when this comes in contact with the bottom, chances are your spinner or your stick bait is in contact with the bottom, picking up leaves uh, or whatever. So, you know, that's the advantage of having this little dropper here. It might save you uh, picking up a few leaves, maybe getting a few snags, right? But, uh, you know, if you do go with this dropper line, have this dropper line be a real light pound test, two or four pound test. Uh, that, that's an old steel header trick. So if, if this uh, sinker actually does get snagged up, maybe you can break this dropper line off, save the release clip, save the lure or spinner that you're pulling, you know, just kind of sacrifice the sinker if you happen to get snagged up. Again, that's, a, that's an old steel header trick. Those steel headers are always fishing those snag filled rivers. Uh, whenever they're using like a, a three way setup, they'll go with a real light pound test. And then uh, the idea is just lose the sinker, save the rest of the rig. You know, another variation or another hack or trick uh, to snap weights is this uh, snap weight bottom bouncer. Um, I, I think it's, gosh, it's been over 20 years I started putting these things together, making these up, experimenting with the different lengths, different weights. Uh, again, offshore brand release clip. I just glued this to the end of some wire. Uh, I bought these uh, weights. These are actual bottom bouncer weights, just like the weights you get on a normal bottom bouncer. I bought them in bulk. They weren't on uh, attached to any wires or anything. 
you slide them up over the wire, pinch them down so they don't go anywhere, and it is really a clip-on bottom bouncer. So now you got all the same advantages that you would have, you know, with this conventional bottom bouncer. You can kind of drop it down, feel for bottom, and of course that wire, this wire kind of transmits that bumping of bottom up into your hand to let you know you're right near bottom, right? You know, you don't you don't want to drag these along the bottom, just like you don't want to drag normal bottom bouncers right along the bottom. You do want to just periodically check, just kind of let your pull down, pick them up, and kind of feel, and of course this wire transmits that uh, bump from bottom a lot better than if you just had this dropper line. So, you know, that's one of the advantages of these clip-on bottom bouncers. And now to take care of the business side of things, um, my sponsor, Camaro's Crawlers, he asked me to uh, read an announcement to you guys. And, you know, for those of you that have never heard of Camaro's Crawlers, um, uh, Ronnie Camaro is the president of Camaro's Crawlers. And what it is, it's a, it's a small, you know, specialty bait shop that uh, my buddy Ronnie runs out of his parents' house where he lives. And, uh, you know, they carry um, leeches, crawlers, and grasshoppers when they're in season. You know, pretty much anything that uh, Ronnie can catch himself, you know, uh, he'll, he'll uh, take a crack at selling it as bait. Um, I, like, one spring, he was the only bait shop in the area that was carrying wood ticks for the bluegill fishermen. And, um, but something happened. There was some kind of uh, wood tick container accident at the bait shop, and, and, and all the ticks escaped. So, yeah, Ronnie's mom didn't really care for that. Uh, so then Ronnie's mom, she, she works at the bait shop occasionally. And so Ronnie's pro staff, her mom said, yeah, um, you're not allowed to sell wood ticks anymore out of the house like that. So, yeah, I, I know Ronnie, he was pretty upset about that. He really felt like he was kind of developing, uh, you know, kind of a niche market, you know, uh, for the bluegill fishermen, you know, selling those wood ticks. So that was kind of a bummer. But anyways, um, I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll read this announcement that Ronnie wanted me to read to you guys. Uh, okay, it says, Attention fishermen, Camaro's Crawlers is having a blowout tent sale on the entire inventory of tackle. And, you know, that sounds pretty cool, right? Blowout tent sale. And it, what kind of started that is Ronnie's dad's like redoing the basement. So he told Ronnie, like, you got to temporarily move this tackle out of the basement while he redoes it. So, you know, leave it to Ronnie. You know, Ronnie comes up with a great idea. Hey, if I got to move this tackle, I'll, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, I'll just have a blowout tent sale, you know. And, and another good idea he had, like, like Ronnie's not, uh, he's not going to use like just a regular tent or like a canopy like a lot of stores do. Um, Ronnie's going to be using his uh, pop-up ice fishing tent for the blowout tent sale. So that's pretty cool, you know, selling tackle out of an ice fishing tent. But as far as the live bait goes, um, you'll still be getting that out of the basement refrigerator. R Ronnie will still have to go down to the basement and get the live bait out of there for you. But as far as the tackle, that'll be in Ronnie's Eskimo uh, pop-up ice fishing tent. And, you know, and Ronnie does carry uh, an array of tackle. Um, I, I wouldn't describe it as like a, a, a wide array of tackle. Uh, I, I'd probably call it more like a, a narrow array of tackle, I guess. Like, uh, you know, like these snap weights. Uh, he doesn't carry snap weights, you know. He, he just didn't think that he could move enough of these uh, to justify carrying them, you know. But he does, he does carry bell sinkers. So, you know, like if, if you went out and just got the, uh, the release clips, you know, you, you could go to Camaro's Crawlers and get the, the bell sinkers to go with them. And uh, I know he has hooks. Uh, he has a few different styles of bobbers. Um, oh, and Ronnie does... Uh, he does spool up fishing reels. He, he has the bulk spools to spool up fishing reels. Um, I guess, uh, you know, as long as you're good with uh, six pound test mono, uh, he can take care of you. I, I guess it's more like he has one bulk spool. Yeah, it's more like one. So, yeah, if you, uh, 
If you're good with six pound test model, uh, Ronnie can spool up a reel for you. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, you know, keep that in mind when you head over to Camaro's Crawlers. Uh, I think for about the next uh, two weeks, if you're over there um, getting some bait, uh, poke your head in that uh, Eskimo pop-up ice fishing shelter and, and see if there's any tackle in there you'd be interested in. You know, you, you might just find something that, uh, that you need to have out on the water. So uh, anyways, keep that in mind. And also, uh, hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Kinetter from Kinetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.